Do you have white spots on your pavers? It can be very frustrating for you and us, the contractors. So today's video is what are those white spots and how do you test them to see what they are if you do have them? So the first thing I want to do is go over where you'll find those white spots more commonly found if you do have pavers. And what we have found over the last almost decade is that when you do have spots that have, uh, or you do have pavers that have white spots throughout, most commonly you'll find those on uh, front porches or back porches or an area that's, that's covered, or you'll find those spots uh, where someone might be watering their plants a lot, or lastly, an area that just does not drain very well. And that's because moisture is what causes these calcium and salt deposits to weep up over time. And if you have a pool deck that's like half cover and then the other half is exposed out to the weather, what you'll notice is out in the exposed area usually doesn't have efflow. It's almost always predominantly found, again, on a covered area. And on top of that, we live in an area that receives on average 55 inches of rain and we have high levels of humidity. So combining all of those factors, there's nothing that can stop efflorescence completely. There's no man-made product that can stop it, but there are some ways to limit it and minimize it. Um, one of those ways would be to seal it. Um, sealing is, is productive because once you seal a paper, then you close off the pores of that stone. And so if it does get wet, it won't stay wet as long. So it won't stop it 100% again, but it can help slow it down. But what's going on is if you have white spots on your pavers, it's almost usually one of two things. Number one, it could be failed sealer if it's been failed before, or it could be more commonly found in what's known as efflorescence. And again, that's just the salt and calcium deposits in that stone. When they get wet, especially for an extended period of time, that salt and calcium starts weeping up to the top. Now, there is an easy way to test for it. If you see here, this is actually my pool deck area, and I have an, an enclosed area, as you can see, and I myself have efflorescence in this covered area. The reason I know it's efflorescence is I'm going to show you is we do a water test. Anyone can do this. You just find one of those uh, white spots you see and just pour water on those areas. Find a couple of those spots, pour some water, and go throughout the area. And when you do this, give it a few seconds, let that water absorb into the stone, and after you do that, if you see where you pour the water, if that whiteness kind of goes away and it, and it just blends in, your color comes back, then that just tells you that it's the efflorescence. It's just the salts that are weeping up to the top. Now, in order to treat that, there's an acid, and this acid is made specifically for efflorescence. So I don't want you running out to the pool store and grabbing muriatic acid. Muriatic is very harmful. I actually have a friend who was hospitalized for over six months from inhaling too strong of muriatic acid. It's not needed, it's not even recommended. Again, it's too strong to breathe in, and it's also too strong in a way that if you are using it too heavy on pavers, you can actually etch the color out of that stone. Um, so again, find a perfectly mild acid made specifically for this. You can treat it yourself. You can find this at any store. If you do treat it yourself, I would recommend that you wear proper protection, a, a mask, gloves, a respirator, uh, because again, you are dealing with an acid. And then afterwards, just as important, you want to neutralize that acid so that you don't have any adverse reactions. But I just wanted to do a quick video just to let you know this is very frustrating. It's very frustrating for the homeowners, and we understand that. And it's also frustrating for us contractors. Unfortunately, there's nothing that you, we can do currently right now to stop it 100%. It's even more frustrating if maybe you've had a pool deck for several years and you call somebody to wash it or maybe have those papers sealed. They come and they wash the area and then the next day you notice all these white spots and they've never been there before. Naturally, you're going to blame the, the person that was there the day before cleaning and that would be a natural reaction to or a natural way or 
a natural thing to, do, to blame them, but this video is just to let you know that's not the fault of the cleaner. What's going on is these pavers lay dormant or they go long periods of time without getting exposed to water. And when they do, it causes the pavers to blush and create what's called efflorescence or simply just the salts coming up. So just a quick video on that, how to test for it. I hope this helps someone. Um, if you have any questions, we'd be glad to come out and possibly take a look at it. You can give us a call anytime at 813-335-2869. Again, that's 813-335-2869. Or feel free to jump on our website at www.premierprowashandseal, all one word, premierprowashandseal.com, and fill out a form, and we'll be glad to uh, come out and take a look and give you a quote if you need it. Thank you.